After burying his brother, Yasir Bayragja is collecting the last pieces of what used to be his life from what's left of his apartment in Hatay. He had planned to stay back after surviving the twin earthquakes on February 6th. But after a third earthquake two weeks later, he has decided to completely move out of the quake-affected areas. I mean, we don't really want to leave Hatay, but sometimes we have to leave to live. The will to live is leading to some hard choices for the millions who survived the earthquakes. But not everyone has the option to bounce. Syrian refugees who had settled in Hatay don't have many options left, except maybe to go back to Syria, parts of which have been devastated by the earthquakes and others which are in control of the Syrian regime. The challenge now for the government is to convince people to stay back and help rebuild and repopulate historic areas like Hatay. For those who have already packed up, it's time to leave. Ali Mustafa, TRT World.